Hello and thank you for watching our Dearman tool training videos. In this video we're going to look at the parts of a cutting tool and explore just a few of the many different styles of cutting tools. There are many more styles than we can cover here, but this short video will give you the cutting tool basics that you need to get started. A more detailed version of this video is on our super support video site. Let's first look at the flutes on a cutting tool. You will hear two and four flute most of the time, but there are also single, three, six, eight, and even sixteen flute tools on the market today. You can plainly see the difference between the two flute tool in the foreground and the four flute tool in the background. Generally, a four flute tool will provide a little better finish. However, the material you're cutting many times dictates what tool you need to use. Some softer materials can clog a four flute tool, causing a poor finish and even tool damage. When purchasing cutting tools, tip diameter is always the first consideration. The largest tool possible should always be used. However, this becomes a balancing act between tool size and making sure the tool can get into the very smallest areas that require machining. Tools are available from Dearman Tool in metric, decimal, and fractional tip sizes. Tool makers use an industry standard for flute length as indicated here by the purple arrow. Cutting tools with a longer flute length are available by special order. Normally, cutting depth is never allowed to exceed the flute length of a tool. Part and tool damage can occur when this rule is ignored. Industry standards are applied as well to the overall length of a tool. Overall length is the actual total length of the tool end to end. Cutting tools are available in standard, long, and extra long lengths if you have the need. As shown as this insert, tools can vary in overall length depending on the tool type and the tool size. Here at Dearman Tool we offer custom tool manufacturing and coating in case you need special tools made. Now you should have a basic idea of cutting tool nomenclature and how to select the proper tool for purchase and use to match your machining requirements. Feel free to call us here at DRM and Tool if we can be of help to you in making a proper tool selection. In review, we have covered tool flute count, tip diameter, flute length, and overall tool length. These are the things you should know and consider before purchasing or loading a tool into your machine. Of course, as with the entire CNC process, there are always more things to consider when talking tools. Tool style or shape is always a decision that must be made. The task at hand, the material used, the part design are all determining factors in tool style. For contours, a ball end mill, as shown here, is usually required. For other projects, such as engraving and ring making, small conical and pyro mills can fill the need. We have whatever you need at the Arm and Tool, including help making your selection. Thank you again for watching our De Armin Tool training videos. We hope that this video has been of some use to you and that it'll make your purchasing and figuring out what tool to use when you're machining a little easier. Have a great day. Goodbye.